Striding techniques for 7th Q, Shichi Q, Yield Bell. Starting with Nukite, which is you have a descending stairs with your fingers. The index finger is curved just a little bit, just a little bit. As you can see, it's barely curved. The thumbs are in. The little finger is in. You're going to strike to the eye. Leave the right hand. Striking to the eye with the left hand, going to a 45 degree angle. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. The next is striking to the throat. And as you strike, it, your index finger is going to be bent just a little bit. The finger right next to it is going to be curved right next to it. It's going to support it as you strike to the throat. You just turn it completely over. Strike left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Next, it starts out like you're going to strike the solar plexus, but what you're going to do is you're going to turn it into what's called an epon ken, which is a protruding knuckle strike. Take the, you strike to the solar plexus. Again, it starts out like it's a nukiti, then turns into an epon ken. All right, each. Ni, sa, si, go, ro, si, hach, kyu, jil. You're going to start being introduced to counting in Japanese. Again, it's ich, ni, sa, si, go, ro, si, hach, kyu, and ki under at number 10, which is jil. Jil. As they throw the punch, they're going to come down, block it with a gate on block action, another gate on block action, and the strike to the eye with the Nukiti. Again, as they throw the punch, it's block, block, strike. So you're double blocking and you're moving your head away from a man if he's going to punch you here. All right, next again. He comes to the punch, it's double block step and strike, or you can strike here, what's called near the carotid sinus artery, which is right up beside of that. If you're coming from this direction, it would be like right below the Adam's apple. Again, keep that finger bent just a little bit and support it with the other one, striking here or here, striking right above the carotid sinus artery. Okay. But this time it's the Ipan Ken. So starting with the Nikiti, goes into the Ipan Ken, which is the protruding uh, index finger. If he sells the punch, I step the side to the side and come and strike to the solar, solar plexus area. Again, comes with the punch, I block the strike solar plexus area. Okay. Furuyuki is a circular strike. Starts with a shoot on fan block. The right hand comes from the back area, pivots around as you block, and strikes with your index knuckle to the temple. Coming across, block, strike. Now the left hand comes across the chest like a Roman soldier. The right hand goes behind the back. As you block, you snap it out. Again, the left hand goes behind the back. The right hand comes across the chest, block, Snap, alternate, block, snap, alternate, block, snap, alternate, block, snap. Together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh! Application of the Kubuchi. You're going to be doing a replacement step. As he throws the punch, you're going to step and strike. All right, again, slow motion. As he throws the punch, you're going to hop and replace the left foot with the right foot and strike. You can strike the back of the head, or if his head's up here, you can strike to the temple. It can be the back of the head or to the temple, then come down. The striking hand becomes the blocking hand, and you close the door. All right, again, watch it again. 
Now you're going to go into Shikadot stance. The low stance, feet out 45 degree angle. This is for strengthening your legs and also there's some more applications in free fighting which you will learn as we go through some of the specialized techniques. This is going to be back end to front. Now you're just doing this for exercise purposes at this point, to strengthen the legs. This is going to be back end to front, bring the arm up, snapping back in, until it gets your right and then left, up, right, snap, up, left, snap, up, right, snap, left, snap, right, snap, left, snap, right, snap, left, snap. Very simple. Next is going to be the uppercut punch. Very simple. It's going to come from down here. It's going to come up underneath the chin. Snap upward towards the ceiling. Upward, upward, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Next one is going to be the snap punch to the midsection. It's going to be right, and you snap back and you come back. You punch out and snap back. Out, snap back. Left, snap back. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay. Oh. Back in the front as they throw the strike, blocking the downward block. Back knuckles, very simple technique, very effective technique. All right, again, block, right hand, back knuckle, left hand, or you can do it the other way around. You can be here, feel the punch, block, strike. The back of the knuckle, right towards the eyeball. All right, the next technique is the uppercut. From this position, he throws the punch. I step here and uppercut right in the throat area and come into the knee with the low shikodite stance. That's what you can do with the shikodite stance. All right, again, he throws the punch. I step, I come into his knee, uppercut, and block an uppercut. All right, next, <clears throat> shikodite area, he's going to lead with this hand. As he throws the punch, I block, ah, strike, I come on his knee, strike with a snapping action. All right, again, I block. Whoa! Go on the knee and he's down. We're going to get a specialized striking forms at this time. This is called a leap with backhand. As your opponent starts to come at you and starts to throw a punch, you kind of lean down this way. And as you're leaning down and blocking, then you jump up and you back knuckle. It's real simple. Again, as he comes in, you lean down, boom, bah, and back knuckle. So leap with backhand. Again, you lean down and jump up, back knuckle. So wherever his head is, you can back knuckle it, wherever it is. Or you can be just right here, go down, jump up as he comes in, and back knuckle shielding with the other hand. This is where you get to call the sword and shield principle. This movement right here. This is my shield, this is my sword. So as I jump up and block, what have you, but always prepare to block with the other hand. All right. All right. The next movement is the spin out. In this way, moving. Spin out, we introduced to this before, earlier, but we're going to do a little bit more with it. As he throws the punch, I loop here, strike, strike, and elbow, and kick towards the lower leg, and he is down. All right, again, watch it, slow motion. Block, strike, block with the elbow, strike, and down. Kick him wherever you want to there, in the leg or in the groin. Okay, that's the spin out, specialized fighting move. Pin out form number four is next. And this is the exercise for it. You step back with the right foot, Left hand comes up, blocking with the left hand, and blocking with the right hand, striking with the left hand in the midsection. Double hand blocks the front, ball foot kick the groin. Again, it's block, block, 
strike, grab, kick. Block, block, strike, grab, kick. Block, block, strike, grab, kick. Application, block the first punch. If you block the second punch, strike, grab his claws, and kick to the groin. All right, again, block, block, strike, grab, kick. Next concave blocking form, you're going to go into a block with the shito covering your jawline area. Then it's going to be a palm heel strike to the uh, chin. Then it's going to be a kick to the groin, sweeping block with the left hand and back knuckle with the right hand. Again, it's one, two, three, four. Blocking form application. It's going to be block, strike, then it's going to be block, strike, and kick, and shove. Again, it's going to be block, strike, then it's going to be block, strike, kick, and shove with a body motion into your opponent. Again, block, strike, Okay. All right.